Jumpy's nest was a hole filled with sticks, leaves, and feathers. High up in a tree. C'est magnifique. <laughs> My first accordion! Ducks swam in water, even in winter. And they slept in nests of straw. Deer slept hidden under many trees on a soft bed. Uh -huh. Now George knew what he needed to make his sleepover a success. George had made a perfect space for each friend. Now they just needed to come back inside. George's friends loved it. Jumpy nested in his clock. Dumpling perched in her nest. And Dottie slept on her soft, foresty bed. But George was still missing one thing. Everyone slept well. <laughs> the next morning, George made sure everyone had the perfect breakfast. Mission 
So George got back to work. He hoped to see the little seal again afterwards. He's on his way! What a big fish! George had found his first whale, and it was white. A beluga whale. Could there be more? Number two was a bowhead. George could tell by its dark coloring. One beluga and one bowhead. George had already counted two whales. Wow, great job, George. Seven belugas and five bowheads. <laughs> No narwhals yet. They can dive deeper than the others. Why don't you try going lower, George? <laughs> George wondered what was making that strange sound. This whale had a tusk, a narwhal. In fact, a whole pot of them. George knew he'd better count fast. Three over there, and that one made four. This one made five. And all those made... George wasn't going to let anything stop him from counting the rest. Except maybe an iceberg. George, are you okay? I think he hit something. An iceberg, maybe? Perhaps. George, I think it's time to head back. We'll help you find your way. <laughs> Whoa, what happened? Hmm, the communication systems must have been damaged. George thought he was heading home, but it was hard to tell. <laughs> George didn't know this whale because it was a seal. His friend had found him. <laughs> and he seemed to be leading George somewhere. Tremendous work! You saved the mission, George! Hey! My fish! But George figured the seal deserved it. After all, he'd led George home. Oh, well, there are plenty more fish where that came from. Right, George? <laughs> 
George could see Jumpy was right. These nuts were different. Hmm. Whoa, 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 huh? George. People don't eat acorns. Uh -huh. Well, not usually. We prefer other nuts. You know, walnuts, almonds, pecans, cashews, what have you. Oh. If people didn't like acorns, an animal must have taken Jumpy's acorns. But which one? <laughs> Deer, turkey, crow, bear, pig, squirrel, raccoon. All these animals ate acorns. This needed more research. had never seen him before. He carried nuts in his cheeks, just like Jumpy. find the acorns if he followed that little guy. And Jumpy thought he'd find them if he followed George. The thing also ate flower bulbs? And seeds? stored food for winter, just like Jumpy did. At last, Jumpy had surely found where the monkey stashed the nuts. wasn't the monkey after all. <coughs> Jumpy wanted to give that squirt a piece of his mind. But that squirt was kind of cute. <coughs> and generous. Jumpy didn't like him taking his acorns. But anyone could see he was a good kid. He just needed someone to show him the ropes. Someone with experience. Someone like... Jumpy. see you've made a new friend. Chipmunks are cute, aren't they? A chipmunk? So that's what that was. Oh, my pecan pie! Uh -oh. <laughs> that may be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Don must have sent us on the scenic route. Ready to see a lot of fish? Ah! Here we go. Take a trip, see somewhere new. Learn about what others like to do. There really were a lot of fish. There was one that could blow itself up like a balloon. And one that looked like a circus clown. And who knew that glass fish had bones? Let's learn about the wonders of the world. Wow, that was fun! <laughs> Better head back if we want to get to the village before dark. Be out of gas. Uh -huh. No problem. Just need to refill it. <gasps> Your beach ball. That's right. Here you go. Uh -huh. Huh? Mm. Uh, George, did you take the extra gas can out to make room for the beach ball? And the flashlight. <laughs> and the flares. <laughs> uh. Well, I guess we'll have something to play with. Until someone finds us. <laughs> catch, George. <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, good catch. <laughs> George, what are you... <laughs> well, look who's here. It's your buddies, the dolphins. The dolphins, they're stirring up the bioluminescent plankton. They're tiny, tiny sea creatures, millions of them. They give off a glow when they're moved. George, you hear that? It's a rescue plane. Happy to see you, my friends. How did you ever come up with the plan to get the dolphins to light up the water like that? Um, actually, we were playing catch. <laughs> George, that was amazing. I'm glad you packed that ball. Let's learn about the wonders of the world. A 
Has anyone seen my mug? <coughs> this was becoming very mysterious. Not again. Why does everything keep disappearing? Uh, maybe you simply left it in the other room. Let's look. Come on, George. Let's see the rest of the lab. <laughs> Someone had taken the kitten mug, the shell, and the shoe. He didn't know who did it, but he had a pretty good idea what they looked like. Look at that shell! <laughs> it was a shell, all right. But it wasn't George's. That's a loggerhead sea turtle. <laughs> She's injured, so we're taking care of her until she heals. George wondered, could the sea turtle be the one taking things? Those flippers make them very fast in the water, but on land, they're quite slow. If the turtle was slow on land, it probably didn't steal George's shell. Still, it was worth a look. Hmm. Maybe it's time we clean the turtle enclosure. And if you're up for it, we could use two extra hands. He's right, four extra hands. Oh, I'll help, e even though I only have two hands. Every hand helps. We'll need some sponges and a bucket. <laughs> Luckily, George had brought his own bucket. Where was it? George couldn't believe it. Someone had stolen the octopus, too. His bucket. What was it doing over there? What is it, George? Hmm. Wow! You did it! You solved the mystery, George! So this is where everything went. But how did the octopus get those things into the water? Octopuses live in the water but they can venture onto land for short periods of time. <laughs> yeah, why did Octavia take all these things? Well, in nature, octopuses collect things like shells and coconut husks to use for protection near their dens. Like my shoe and my coffee mug. <laughs> and your shell, exactly. The collection is called an octopus's garden. <laughs> Good. Guess we'll need to secure this lid so she doesn't keep getting out. George liked his shell, but he knew someone who liked it even more. Well, it looks like that's how an octopus says thank you, George. <laughs> that was very generous of you, George. <laughs> you can come back and visit Octavia and your shell any time. 
George thought that any seashell that got to be part of an octopus's garden was one lucky shell.